Is Monster Anui a hype job? The answer to that is no. He's actually a really good fighter. Monster Anui is a really good fighter. He can beat anybody if he's focused. Um, but I don't think he's a hype job. The one thing I can respect about Monster Anui is that he is trying to make his claim as being one of the best fighters in the sport of boxing without the help of the machine. You guys are fully aware of what the machine is. The machine is something that a lot of non-black fighters benefit from. Teofimo Lopez, he paid a huge price on relying on the machine. Teofimo Lopez was allowed to become complacent when he beat Lomachenko because of the machine. Teofimo Lopez, he thought his work was over when he beat Lomachenko. He thought that's, that was all what he needed to do and he got complacent because of the machine. And he paid a huge price because he lost to George Cambosis. Monster Inouye is staying far away from the machine. He understands that his work is not over with. He understands there's more than just him beating Donaire and Stephen Fulton. This man is talking about moving up to the 126 pounds and challenging guys there. And me as a boxing fan, okay, a fan that supports black fighters, I'm going to have to respect that for Monster from Monster Inouye because he's trying to make his claims as being one of the best fighters, if not the best fighter in the sport of boxing by doing it the right way. A lot of these non-black fighters, they become complacent when they realize they got a machine working behind them. Gennady Golovkin, I mean, he benefited from the machine for many, many years. This man fought nobody. He fought absolutely nobody, and he was glorified for just being a fighter with a bunch of knockouts. Because he had a machine working behind him, he was allowed to become complacent. He was allowed to uh, to not take any real challenges because he knew the machine was working behind him. Lomachenko the same way. A lot of these non-black fighters, when they realize when it comes to the American media, that they can benefit from the machine. A lot of these foreign non-black fighters, they understand that when they get in the public's eye, the American public's eye, there is a machine behind them. And so that's why I respect Monster Inouye. He's not, he's not looking to the American media and American boxing fans uh, to solidify him. Monster Inouye is trying to solidify himself by him putting in the work. And that, I can't, I can't do anything but respect that. Okay, and I told you guys before, many, many videos ago, that <clears throat> there are fighters that are not black that I'm going to celebrate, but behind closed doors. And the reason for that is because I'm going to spend my energy here on YouTube celebrating uplifting black fighters. Black fighters are hated so much, they even hate by their own people. All right. And because of that, I'm going to give them all of my energy. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to put all my energy, excuse me, I'm going to put all my energy into embracing them, supporting them, and uplifting them here in this community. It doesn't mean that I'm not going to support non-black fighters. It's just that I'm not going to do it publicly. I'm going to support non-black fighters behind closed doors. So no, Monster Inou is not a hype job. He's actually a really good fighter. He is what you call a generational talent. I just don't think he's better than Terrence Crawford. But Monster Inouye, he's up there. He's a really good fighter. Um, and I have to respect him because he could he could easily um he could easily um allow the machine to work for him, but he's choosing to stay away from the machine, and that's why I respect him. Monster Inouye, he's not getting involved with the American media because he knows that um the American media will back him a hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the boxing media. He knows that, you know, he'll benefit more if he were to cross over here to the States. You know, a lot of a lot of um, non-black foreign fighters do that. They they come here knowing the fact that the machine here will work for them. You know what I'm saying? A lot of non-black foreign fighters, they they benefit from the machine that we have operating here in the States. I mean, you look at Sergey Kovalev. I mean, he was benefiting from the machine. Gennady Golovkin, he was benefiting from the machine. Vasily Lomachenko, he was benefiting from the machine. Roman Gonzalez, I mean, the list goes on. But Monster Inouye is staying away from that. You know what I'm saying? He wants to put in the work and 
you know, uh, basically enjoy the fruits of his labors instead of having something work for him. You know what I'm saying? Having something that he can benefit from. Monster, Monster and New reminds me of one of the Marvel characters that goes by the name Falcon. Um, Falcon becomes Captain America. And, um, you know, one of the most one of the most impressive thing about Falcon is that he never takes the serum. You know, everything that he's doing is off the back of his abilities and he could easily take the serum and just become a super soldier. But he chooses not to. He's saving people, basically practically saving the world just off the back of his ability because he's doing all this without the super serum. He can benefit from the super serum, but he chooses not to take the super serum. And so Monster Inui, he can cross over here to the States and allow the machine to work for him, easily work for him. But he's choosing not to. He's he's choosing to stay away from the machine and he's doing things the right way. You know, this man is talking about, you know, first becoming undisputed, first taking care of business at, you know, 122 and then moving up to 126. And we all know they are really, really good fighters at 126. And he's willing to go that go that route just to prove to the world and to himself that he is one of the best fighters, if not the best fighter in the world. And you have to respect that. Now, the machine, the machine will keep him from that, from that division or the machine will basically have him nitpick fighters that he can beat at, you know, at, you know, 126 or possibly 130. You know what I'm saying? Because I think he can go up to 130, but the machine will keep him away from certain fighters that can beat him or possibly he will end up struggling against. You see what I'm saying? And so Monster and Nui, he's just, you know, giving the middle finger to the American machine and just doing things the right way, 